This college girl got pregnant out of wedlock, and the guy ran away. Her father, for the sake of the family name, he married her to a country guy. At the first meeting, the rural guy was baffled. What's going on here? Carrie's body and looks. Carrie was perfect. Jack couldn't breathe. Even his hands shook when he poured the water. But Carrie only cared about one thing. Do you think you'll be able to love the baby? Well, I do. They met in the morning and got married in the afternoon. Jack was so nervous, he forgot to prepare his wedding ring. After all, it was his first time. But Carrie didn't care. I don't, I don't need one. All she could think about was her ex-boyfriend. She was sure he'd come to pick her up. The road to her new home was deserted. Carrie has always lived in the city. She's never been to the countryside. Not to mention marrying a man from the village and living here. But what she didn't expect. This guy conquered her in just a few months. Her high heels didn't fit in. And the dilapidated hut. And the endless wasteland. And a husband she just met. Which made a nervous Carrie even more so. And then Jack's dog pounced. Carrie was scared out of her wits. Her dad wouldn't let her touch dogs and cats. Jack put the dog away. Then he gentlemanly opened the door for her. Welcome home. He's made Carrie his family, which surprised her a little bit. But she was even more surprised. The house wasn't as bad as she thought it would be. Jack had made it neat and cozy. Jack gave her the biggest bedroom. He spent six months of his savings on a refrigerator. He put in a rare water heater. Jack was very attentive to her arrival. It made Carrie feel a little warmer. And then, Jack made dinner for the beautiful Carrie. And in the course of small talk, he learned. Carrie was studying archaeology. She dreamed of traveling to the ancient fortress of Troy and to teach herself to cook. Jack listened quietly and took notes. Jack takes the initiative to clean up after Carrie finishes eating, and brought out the chocolate cake that was ready. All this time Jack has been busy. Looking at his gentle figure Carrie was even more confused. I was just wondering why you agreed to this. I thought maybe it'd be God's will. After dinner, Jack took out a brand new notebook. Recollecting carefully the little moments with Carrie, he wrote down his pink memories. On the other hand, Carrie took out a necklace from her ex-boyfriend. She still can't forget that man. Tears of longing came to her eyes. The next day, Jack offered to take Carrie to town, so she could call her family and tell them she was okay. He purposely avoided it so Carrie could talk to her family. But Carrie asked her family for news about her ex-boyfriend. But she didn't give up. She sent another letter to her ex-boyfriend. On the other side, Jack came to the library and borrowed three books, all related to Carrie's use, archaeology, cooking, parenting. The archaeology book was for him. He's going to study quietly at home. Hopefully, he'll be in Carrie's world soon. On the way home, Jack offered to teach Carrie how to drive, so she could get into town on her own, put it in gear, and push in the clutch. Carrie learned how to drive in no time, and she had a big smile on her face. When we passed by his family's farm, Carrie asked if she could learn how to grow crops too. Jack refused. He states you have a good pregnancy. I'll be the breadwinner. Then he took Carrie to church to pray for the baby. The lady saw such a beautiful woman in town. They were all over Carrie, asking questions. Jack helped her get away from them, to make her feel better about the baby. He took Carrie on a boating trip, feeling the freshness and beauty of nature. As he watched his wife stretch her body, Jack bowed his head shyly. In the course of small talk, Carrie revealed that she loved to swim. The lake was too deep for her, but the attentive Jack remembered again. 